evening viewers, my name is Pretzel, and today we're playing Sid Meier's Civilization IV Beyond the Sword. Continuing from where we last left off in our Snake Constant Roosevelt game, I uh, was researching civil service and was uh, building all these courthouses and markets everywhere. So let's continue with that. So re uh, resource bubbles. Zoom out a bit, increase my field of view a bit. Yeah, I think that's best. Okay. Alrighty, orders of San Francisco are about to expand, so I can get that uh, get that plane's cow out. Good. And uh, now this is this one I wanted to move down here. Can I move that far? No. Um, yeah, you're working enough improved titles. It is okay. You go down there and chop that forest. I think that's the best thing for you to do. You... Ready for action. I'm going to join him in farming that tile, I think. Okay, now there are a couple of things we want to whip. Uh, so something I did in the meantime, between episodes, was make this screen here on the... What do they call this? The Domestic Advisor? Yeah, F1. Uh, new page 20. I think this is a bug mod feature, but regardless... Uh, what you can do is uh, click this button here, enter edit mode, and then on there you can press add page, which is what I did, and then I went down here and added all sorts of columns. Then after that you want to hit save, which quite notably is uh, this, this menu icon here, and uh, this, what looks like the close icon here, set is actually reload. Uh, what you really want is exit edit mode to go back to normal. So what I've got here, uh, the name of the city, which I think is the default thing, uh, the population of the city, how much food it is, uh, how much food surplus it has, how much happiness and health it has, whether it has a granary, lighthouse, courthouse, harbour, library, university, observatory, laboratory, academy, market, grocer, bank, supermarket. Uh, the first bunch of those are obviously the uh, the growth buildings, the economic ones, and the next lot are its uh, the economic buildings with regards to commerce, uh, research and wealth. So after that I have the base commerce for the city and the research it puts out, as well as the wealth it puts out, and its maintenance, which is not going to be as useful, but yeah, it's worth having it there. It's not like it takes up much space on the column. If I were playing the game in a smaller resolution, then yes, but I, I would probably co crop out the maintenance thing. Then I have its production buildings, the forge, a factory, coal plant, barracks, stable, dry dock, airport, and military academy. As well as the city's base production, its actual production, what it's building at the moment, how many turns until it finishes what it's building at the moment, the amount of uh, the population it costs to whip the uh, to whip the thing it's currently producing, and how much hammer overflow that would give, as well as the corporations that are present within the city. Uh, as I've said before, I do intend to found Sid Sushi and Mining Inc. Although my Sid Sushi will look a lot better than my Mining Inc. That said, I can. Oh, I was expecting that to be a two-pop whip, but so be it. That's a one-pop whip, in which case I won't bother. Uh, where is a two-pop whip? New York is a two-pop whip with its market, and that is something I want to do. Yep. Uh, the overflow hammers do get multiplied by the production increase I get by virtue of being organized on the courthouse, so that's handy. Uh, this courthouse is a one-pop whip, don't want to do that. This courthouse is a two-pop whip, so I want to do that. Uh, the production I get from whipping is also uh, also multiplied. This is a two-pop whip, so again I want to do that. This is the, by and large, the most effective thing for me to do with my uh, with my population. <laughs> Kill them. <laughs> Slightly morbid, I know. Uh, 
That should be fine. Yeah, alright, two turns. That's fine. No harm done. I need the forge out after all. Alright, that's all the whipping done. That should make things a bit faster, because uh, I'll be able to tell when things need whipping. Uh, let's go through citizen tiles, things. Um, I think I said last episode I don't want uh, don't want scientists here until I've actually grown back a bit, but I feel like I have grown back a bit, so... Hmm. Yeah, it takes four turns to go back down... Uh, courthouse isn't the end of the world, but I do want that settler out sooner rather than later. I'm gonna have to wait until I grow on that before I start putting specialists back on. I do indeed want scientists running there, I want another great scientist to come out. I mean, I only have uh, two academies so far, and admittedly I only really have two good research cities in Washington and Philadelphia. Uh, Atlanta should become fairly good when it grows, but it doesn't have a decent food source, so that's why it isn't. And fool on me for not getting farms up in here. That's something I should have done. Oh well, it'll it'll grow, it'll just grow slowly. So I should probably refrain from whipping this city. The reason I didn't put farms down here is because I would have needed to irrigate them from this river. Or I suppose from that river, but that's not going to be nearly as effective. Uh, with that in mind, I am going to irrigate down the plains, rather than building cottage on that tile. Which unfortunately means I've wasted a few turns. A few worker turns on that. Whatever. That's not the end of the world. You go up there and eventually build a farm. So Atlanta can actually grow. Because it kind of needs to. Uh, yeah, you're fine. You'll die down in ten turns. And I think I should be able to whip the market as well. Can I whip that now, actually? <laughs> That's going to be ineffective. Um, yeah, let that finish, get the overflow through, and then that'll probably be a two-pop whip, which will be fine for Philadelphia. There's no harm in whipping Philadelphia like that. Although if Boston... Yeah, I... Hmm. Alright, yeah, I would rather grow Boston, to be fair. How do you automate? No. You're not automating like that, you're getting production now. And Philadelphia can take that. So those might be my good uh, beaker cities, but where are my good commerce cities? Atlanta is my next good commerce city. What is it lacking then? Just the academy. That's why it's poor, compar comparatively. So there's that. So be it. With that said. Uh, let's continue. I'm gonna have to turn my research down again. And since I'm gonna be settling on this tile, I may as well chop down that forest because settling the city there will just override it. You want to go there and build a farm. I know, Plains Farm, but when I get civil service it'll be more worthwhile because I can farm some other shit. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. You got activated because of that archer. I do get favorable odds against that archer. Um, so I may as well take it, right? Yeah. That worked. Uh, still three archers sitting in Phrygian, that is unfortunate, but so be it. And yeah, you get s you get moved up to six out of five experience. Uh, I'll see you next turn. Now Seattle, Washington. Uh, Seattle is the one that wants access... No. Does it want access to that, or does Washington want access to that? Uh, I think Washington wants access to that. 
Ready for action. Uh, so it wants me to build on that tile. Washington doesn't really need more food. If anything, it needs more commerce, and it needed more commerce at the start of the game. So now is a good time to do a total food count, I think. Uh, so, plus two, plus five, plus seven, plus eight, plus nine. And so that's minus two, so that's plus seven, plus six, plus five, plus four, plus three. And I'll still be able to run one and a half specialists, uh, two and a half after after biology. So Washington will be a good city. So let's build a workshop there. San Francisco. Uh, <laughs> oh, San Francisco. Um, and the courthouse is more effective to build than the other thing. You go up there, build a pasture. Your orders. Your orders. Uh, you mm, build a road. Yeah, you build a road. Yes. Alright, I think that should do for this turn. Chicago is on a two pop whip. Um, is it worth whipping that? 12 turns otherwise to produce. Uh, I can hold on to those 24 hammers of overflow if I build wealth. I think that's what I'm going to want to do. I mean, you don't need a barracks in this city. This is never going to be high production. So yeah, whip that. You can grow whilst building wealth. Uh, Philadelphia is on a three pop whip for this, which will pass in uh, pass next turn. At which point I'll do a uh, which point I'll do a two pop whip on the market, and I should be able to start researching again next turn. Yep. So, now I want to chop this forest, so that's the best thing I can do. Tell me what to do, awaiting your order, reporting for duty. So, one interesting thing about Civ 4 that I like is that uh, the units speak in the appropriate language. At least as far as we can tell. I don't think anyone speaks ancient Babylonian these days. But uh, the Americans speak English in an American accent. Yes. Tell me what to do. The English Empire speaks English in an English accent. The Celts speak an, appro uh, an approximation of Celtic. The French speak French, etc., etc. Et it's uh, it's pretty cool. It, it's a nice touch, and I like it. Those, are, those guys are building farms, you are building the pasture. Uh, you... what do you want to do? Hmm. I feel like I screwed the pooch by uh, whipping that, but whatever. Chicago was... it was the right choice to whip there. What, what did I say I was going to whip this turn? Uh, Philadelphia's market, that's right. So yeah, let's do that. That brings you uh, below there, and that is fine. And now you build wealth, and I would rather you work that than work the hammers. 
So we get that to grow. Furthermore, Boston. Uh, actually, yeah, Boston, you can claim that tile. Whilst Philadelphia works the other cottage over here. I don't want to be working that fish because I don't want to be growing that fast. I literally do not care about building that walls there. Yeah, walls as a singular noun, even though it has an S. I... whatever. That is how the game thinks about it. So it's obviously an intended thing, right? <laughs> I don't know. So that's my next city, that's the city afterwards. Now that I'm building courthouses and improving my economy, my break-even point is approaching 50% again. Uh, with these two things... Uh, I am building wealth in a city, so that doesn't count as much. But that city barely has any production. Right, with that courthouse and that market built, uh, my break-even point has increased to, I think, 60%? Roughly. Uh, about 66%, which is excellent compared to my break-even point being 10 or 20% much earlier in the game. This is what I call economic recovery. Uh, I would make a political joke here, but I don't think anyone wants to hear that. So you get wealth, you get a lot of things. Hmm. Actually, tell you what, I have enough worker turns to spare. I'm going to override that workshop with a farm once this thing's done. So I'm going to queue that up in a s single thing. Shift workshop, undo, go there, build farm. And as you can see, that's there until I release shift when it moves on to the next unit. Right, you want to chop that forest to add production to San Francisco. Tell me what to do. That takes a bunch of turns. Uh, so you go there, do the same thing. You sit still. You build a road. And you get queued to go there. Settler, four turns away from being produced. I am not growing, this is fine. The city doesn't need walls, and when it gets wealth after the settler, that'll be excellent. Oh, that's the sound for building walls. I don't often hear that. <laughs> oh, I've built enough courthouses so I can build the Forbidden Palace now. I won't do that. Uh, although, looking at it, I would suspect uh, when I get around to it, say this city will probably be the best city for the Forbidden Palace. Uh, maybe this one, actually. Which is a shame. You, well, you get enough production, I guess. Yeah, that one will be good for the Forbidden Palace, I think. So, we'll go for that. Yeah, I need farms all over this thing. That is a shame, but... If I don't, then that city's not going to do anything, so... Of course, I can't build a farm there because I don't have civil service yet. <laughs> Excellent forethought, Pretzel. Excellent forethought. So that hill needs a mine on it. We're getting somewhere, event, uh, gradually. Two pop whip on the settler. Don't care. P 
people on Skype are summoning me. <laughs> Trying not to get distracted. And they will have to wait 10 minutes or so until I get around to finish th finishing this video. Right. Wealth in that city as well. This is what I'm after. Now that I can build wealth everywhere, I can actually start researching things at a decent pace, and hopefully not lose too much ground against the AI on the other side of the map. Because yes, that would be a risk. That's not something I want to do, for what I should hope are obvious reasons. I do intend to win this game if possible. Um. Hmm. Does this city need more food? Uh, so two. Uh, that is that makes plus six. That makes plus eight. Minus six. Minus five. Minus four. Minus three. No. Six, eight, six, five, four, three. Okay, that can be two, and then you can run a specialist. Right, that's fine. You build a workshop there. And I guess a workshop there as well. Hmm, I feel like I should have a farm there. No, no, that can be workshop, that's fine. Then you mine that. San Francisco is meant to be a commerce city when it actually gets around to growing. If I... Huh. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what do I do with workers at this point? I have too many of them. Yeah, I need more cities so I can do stuff with my workers. Um, now that my economy is recovering, I guess I can do that. Uh, Philadelphia doesn't need to be growing, so let's do that there. Yeah, Philadelphia doesn't want to be growing for another five turns. You can do that. Uh, automate. Yeah. How many turns until that's done? Five turns. Oh, I suppose it is more efficient to work that. Yeah, otherwise I'm depriving myself of production. I'd rather have that though, get the town sooner. Sooner, he says, when it's 25 turns away. I'm being told that I am better at payday than some other people. Which is surprising, because I'm not very good at payday. <laughs> payday is in the first person shooter, not as in any other meaning of the word payday. Right, so those uh, hammers went to there, so from chopping 13, overflow from previous build 16, and then you can only have 30 hammers of No, you can only have so many hammers going into overflow. Oh, no, that's what it is. Yeah, you can only have the value of the thing you're building as hammers going into overflow. Everything else overflows as wealth. Which is pretty cool. And is something that can be planned around. So, Chicago apparently doesn't want to grow, um, although it will be okay with its current level of population in two turns. Therefore, instead of working the sugar, you can work the 
cottage. Oh, which one's closer to developing? Neither. Yeah. And you need 22 turns in order to be happy with the next level of population anyway, so may as well do this. I'd rather work the commerce than the hammers, even though I am building wealth. Wealth really is more a placeholder build than anything else. I don't really need to build a road there, but I will be building a road on that forest. I guess those two forest tiles. Uh, that tile wants to be cottaged, so cue that up. Cue that up, thank you. Alright, so Atlanta won't really have food until biology, unfortunately. It'll have a three food tile in a few turns, but still going to be rather lacking for a long while yet, which is a huge shame. Uh, I have the next three cities lined up, pretty much. I want to settle two of them... well, one of them I'll settle this video, and that'll be the one in Washington, I expect. Or the settler coming from Washington. Let's build a road there. So that does imply I end my turns fairly swiftly. Uh, Philadelphia can two-pop whip the settler. Is that worth doing? Not really. All of his anger comes from uh, comes from slavery, rage. So no harm done there. Atlanta, I'd rather not whip. So yeah, uh, Seattle. Hmm. Seattle does kind of have food, so I'm okay with whipping that. Especially since it wants to build the Moai statues. Yeah, let's whip the forge. That'll be fine. It'll grow again soon enough. That's a decent enough to pop whip. That, I think that's that turn done already. Uh, let's have another quick look over the tiles I'm working. That settler gets done next turn. Good. And that gets... No overflow, really? Huh. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's fine. Everywhere else is building wealth, because nothing else can be built. So yeah, that's all cool. That's all fine. Uh, oof, 1080 AD. Civil service. Chicago has become happy. Settle there. Um, great scientist has been born in a faraway land. Great scientist has been born in a faraway land. Pretty sure it's too early for both Maxwell and Rutherford at 1090 AD. But uh, what do I know? The city is not going to have health trouble for a while, so I'd rather it build wealth than... Uh, and what you call it? Rather build wealth than health. <laughs> I make myself laugh. Uh, than an aqueduct. That's the word I'm looking for. It's not like it was on screen a few seconds ago or, or anything. This guy... Hmm. I guess build a road on that hill. Not like that hill will ever be worked by anything, but yeah. <laughs> Jeez, this is so wasteful. Yeah, that can be cottaged as well because it's riverside. San Fran does have enough in the way of food sources. A great engineer. Is that correct? Is that what I want to happen? Because I figured I wanted a... Oh, it's automated. Right. 
Okay, I didn't really think about that. I don't need a great merchant. Although that being said, if I get optics, then I can... yeah. Did I say this last session? I, I get the feeling I did. Sorry, it has been a couple of weeks since I last recorded. Notre Dame's been built in a faraway land. Shit. Geronimo, great general, has been born in a faraway land. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I, would, I may have said this already, but I, uh, Notre Dame I kind of did want to build here. Because with so many cities on this continent, extra happiness in all cities on a continent is pretty, pretty a big deal. But what that means really is someone has engineering and has done for a while. So I am quite distinctly behind. So I desperately need optics so I can meet other civilizations, get the research bonuses on researching tech that I'm behind on, and also trade with other people to get tech that I need. Build a road. Um, you go up there, build a road. You continue to sentry. Tell me what to do. Ah, hello. Are there any civic swaps I want to make? Doesn't look like it. Okay. So I am going to settle that city next turn. What do you need? And then I shall end shortly. Next turn I will be getting civil service, so I can actually start building roads and sh uh, building farms on uh, there and shit like that. Uh, guess I should build that city now. Los Angeles, hello. One lighthouse granary library. You don't. Uh, yeah. Feels better to have the granary first in this city. I do have a three food tile, so I will be getting food out more quickly from that. Now, that being said, now is a good time to sort out when I my uh, build order for all these things. Uh, no, I want forge, courthouse, library, market, and that could be control, control group one. So really moving onto that hill was a waste of time. I should have just stayed on that forest tile. I wasn't thinking properly, clearly. Now that's that's all fine. Uh, what does this worker need to be doing? I guess you can join him on that cottage down there. This worker wants me to build bloody plain, uh, plains cottages, which is not good. I don't want to be building plains cottages. Um, plains are much more suited to having workshops on. Uh, San Francisco, I think, will have enough food to support that. Yeah, in fact I might bulldoze these cottages later in the game, depending on how far grown they are. And put workshop uh, water mills on them instead. Depends how I feel. That said, San Francisco... No, I definitely have the option of running a commerce city on San Francisco, which is what I'd rather do if I can. So you go there, build a road. And I think that'll have to be that. We've been running for 35 minutes or so now. Um, all of these cities are looking about right. Although I am now a bit tired to tell. But the important thing now is that we founded Los Angeles. And in a few turns we will be founding another city up here. 
Don't know what that one will be called. I forget what the uh, eighth city, ninth, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, forget what city number ten is called for uh, for the American civilization, but I'm sure I'll find out soon enough. So, with that said, thank you for watching. I have been, and shall con continue to be Pretzel. If you liked the video, please like the video, and feel free to stick around for more. In the meantime, enjoy the music, and don't forget to be awesome.